calculate quartiles for group data. I take it that you already know what quartiles are. Um, uh, with quartiles, you're talking about um, cumulative frequency, and probably you have a graph like that, which looks something like that. And you have the quartiles which divide the we divide the graph into quarters, yeah? So you would have, uh, probably you would have one quarter that divides it into two, and you would have one that divides it, um, yeah, it, it divides it into quarters, so you would have one that represents halfway, one quarter away, you have three quarter away, uh, show the graph, and then you have the full one, yeah? Uh, this is not drawn to skills, so it's not perfect. So yeah, that's what we're talking about. So probably you would have a uh, quarter one here, which is like the lower quartile, and you'd have a uh, quartile two, which is usually like the median, yeah? And you'd have quartile three, which is like uh, the upper quartile. Okay, so um, let's have a look at how we can um, calculate these quartiles for group data, uh, because it's easy to calculate them for, um, for non-group data, on group data, yeah, but um, the challenge is calculating them for group data. Okay. Now we usually use um, we usually use uh, this formula right here to calculate the quartiles. Uh, this is for um, the MCC exam recommends that we use this formula to calculate the, the quartiles. So um, if you're calculating quartile one, um, then you would be the lower limit of um, of the quartile one class and uh, plus uh, Q represents the quartile position, so quartile one minus uh, the previous class of uh, the, the previous class cumulative frequency and over the class frequency that's quartile one class frequency multiplied by the, the class width. Okay, let's have a look at an example. Come on. Oh, I'll put that here. Oh, where would be the best place? Oh, maybe here. Okay, so that's fine there. So, um, one yeah so in this example you're probably being asked to um calculate the uh, class the quartile class for the quartile classes maybe quartile one quartile two quartile three for for this um this, this data here it looks like uh, weights that have been collected for maybe um an item probably um in a shop or in maybe people or whatever it is, it looks like uh, data for collected from a uh, weight measurements. So um, if we want to apply this formula now, uh, the first thing that we have to do is to, uh, step one would be to calculate the quartile positions. Okay, find the quartile positions. Okay, so how do we work out the quartile positions? Uh, Q1 would be equal to how, um, a quarter um, of the whole data. So let's say this one is adding all the way up to, I think this one here adds up to 40. So Q1 would be a quarter of 40. And that's going to give us um, 10. Q2 would be a half of 40 and that's going to give us um 20 and q3 would be um three quarters of 40 and i think that gives us 30. so this is the first step to solving um the problem yeah and the next thing would be to apply um to apply the formula so um 
Uh, we want to work out what it is for quartile one, right? So if I highlight quartile one now, because that's the one that we're looking at, yeah? And quarter one is equal to 10. Uh, okay, after I've collected, calculated my quarter positions, I'm gonna make a column here for cumulative frequencies so that I can work out the cumulative frequencies. Okay, so starting with the first one, this would be two. Yeah, because it's two plus zero. And then I have two plus three would make five. And five plus seven would make uh, 12. And 12 plus 15 would make 27. And 27 plus eight would make 35. And 35 plus uh, four would make 39. 39 plus one would make 40. And once I got uh, 40 here and here, I know that I've done it right, yeah? So it looks all right to me now, yeah? I've got my 40 here and I've got my 40 here. That's perfect. So I'm going to start to apply my formula now. Okay. So L uh, quarter one, so let's say Q1 would be equal to, um, what is L? L is the lower limit of the quartile class. And I said that quartile one is 10. Our 10 must be somewhere in here because if I was counting that data, it won't be in two, it won't be in five. It's gonna be somewhere in this, in this class here. So I'm going to highlight that one so you know which one it is for quartile one. Okay, so um, if I highlight that class, it's going to be in that class there. Okay, remember it's 10. If I was counting the data, the 10th data would be in this, to be in here. The 10th one would be in here. Yeah, because two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 would be somewhere inside this one. So that's the one, that's the class that I'm going to be looking at for Q1. So I'm going to be getting my information from that class. Let me go back to a black pen. So L is the lower limit of the quarter class. My lower limit of my quarter class is 20. This one right here, this 20 right here, the lower limit. You've got the lower limit and the upper limit. 20 is the lower limit plus uh, Q is the quartile position. Yeah, quartile position is um, 10 because uh, quartile one gives 10 for quartile position. So I'm going to put that here, 10 minus, what is P? P is the cumulative frequency of the previous class. So that would be minus five, minus five uh, over, um, what is F? F is the class frequency. The class frequency here is seven. And I'm gonna multiply that whole thing by uh, C, which is what? C is the quartile class with, uh, the class with here, 30 minus 20 is 10. So that's gonna be 10 right there. And if I put that whole thing into my calculator, it should give me 27.1 kilograms. Yeah, so that is what it is for quartile one. And how do I know that I've done it correctly? When I look at my answer, and I look at the weights of uh, my of quartile one, it's 27.1 is going to fall inside of that class between 20 and 30. So I know I've done it correctly. Let's see how we can calculate um, quartile two. I'm going to just put these ones to the side. Ooh, what have I done? <laughs> oh my world. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, let me just uh, try to see if I can calculate the, if I can pick this up, select. Okay, let's pick this up. Yes, okay, then drag it out all up for me. Take it to this somewhere here for me. Uh, I'm gonna click on the selection tool again and grab the whole of this one and take it somewhere up there as well. 
<lacht> Ups, und du, und du, und du, und du. Oh. Okay, not bad. I want to take you guys somewhere. Oh, it's not going to work. No, I leave that here. I'm not going to bring these ones back right here. Oh no, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I have to stop this video. Okay, I'm just going to write like equals is I think okay there we are is equal to uh 27.1 kg let's leave that there and I'm just going to rub those ones off they went silly okay um let's calculate the same thing now for quartile two um for quartile two we already worked out the quartile position to be let me use a different color pen this time let's go with purple yeah for quartile two, we already worked it out to be um, 20. So we're going to be looking for the 20th data. Where is that 20th data going to fall in? We got um, the 12th data. It's up to the 12th data here. So the 20th one must be inside uh, this, this second class, this next class here. So I'm just going to um, highlight or circle that class. So we know which one that we're working out now for quartile two. Yeah, and it's that one right there. And for that one, we would have, uh, let me go back to the black pen. Nope. Um, quartile two be equal to, um, we know what the quartile position is. It's 20. Uh, we know we found that the 20th data would be somewhere in that class, the class of 30 to 40. So let's let's do this then. L is the lower limit of the quartile class, so that will be 30 plus. Um, quartile position is 20 minus. Um, P is the previous class cumulative frequency. What is the previous class? cumulative frequency that is 12 over um what is the uh, class fre uh, frequency the class frequency is 15 so that is 15 and the class weight is 10 so i'm just going to times that by 10 and if i put that whole thing into my calculator that would be 33.3 kilograms yeah so let's do the last one for quartile three yeah let me go with a, a green pen this time yeah so quartile three we worked it out the quartile position to be um 30. so 30 must be somewhere in here so we're going to just um highlight that one and then we can then uh change that to black okay we can then come here quartile three would be equal to at uh, the lower limit of the quartile class is 40 so we would have 40 plus um plus 30 which we had for q3 uh minus the previous class cumulative frequency which is 27 okay over uh, the class frequency which is um eight times ten that will that will give you uh forty three forty seven point um point eight kilogram if you round it to one decimal place so yeah that's how you work out the quartile positions remember quartile one is the same thing as the as the uh, lower quartile yeah quartile two is the same thing as the median and quartile three is the same thing as the upper quartile. And if you were drawing that as a graph, yeah, then you would have that uh, ogive thing that looks like that, and you would have the you would have them in quarters like that. Yeah. Okay, I think that's everything to do with the quartiles.
will end it there. So if you're going to get the max, then you have to make sure that you show your quartile positions, draw your cumulative frequency, look for where the quartile positions is, which class they fall into, and apply everything to your formula, that one right there, okay, substituting into your formula, and chuck it into your calculator, and that should give you the answer.